Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in the Minecraft Survival Manual. This is what I'm doing with Frillioff. We are doing a Minecraft Survival Guide that will take you through the various stages at the start of your game so as you can develop your survival game really quickly in Minecraft 114. I'm doing it in my style, Frill is doing it in his style, and oh my goodness, are they different styles. So today, we are going to work on something that is related to what we did to the last one. Last time, we did magic with the enchantment table. This time, we're looking at playing with potions, but to do that, we need to do some things first. We've got to go to the nether, because we need to find ourselves a blaze rod. In fact, we could do with a few we also need to find some nether wart because nether wart is necessary to some of the potion recipes so that's what we're going to do now what i want to do is i want to mark home so as we've got like a oh cheers for raining so as we've got a bit of a marker on the map rather than just a little bit of a browned blur so in order to do that we're going to get this banner i'm going to come over here we're going to come into this anvil oh my goodness we're going to get there and we're going to change the name of this it's going to cost one enchantment point and we're going to call this home base take that off this is something that i actually learned myself where did that land is there a skeleton horse no um this is something i learned from frill's uh, nether video actually so thanks for all for that i'm learning from your stuff and then if i look at my map and then click on it you can see we've got home base written just underneath my um, armor on the map which is quite useful we can see exactly where home base is and we're going to use that concept when we are over in the nether and it's time to go there now it's a new day and it has stopped raining and i've got to manage to get myself to my nether portal without meeting up with little men like that run away run away run away i'm actually going to try and shoot you with my bow there we go. One, two. God, that took four hours. That did. Goodness me. That's no good. How many hours have I got? 40 hours. That's not too bad. So we are going to go around this way because we've got a load of mobs wanting to eat our face or at least push sharp pointy objects into it. Oh, for goodness sake. Is there really anywhere I can go that is safe? We're going to get ourselves into this portal to go to the nether because I think it's the safest place. Yes, it is. Let's go. That did just happen, did it really? Oh. Well, I've respawned. And look at me, I'm as naked as the day I was born and all my stuff has gone. Well, it may have gone, it may not have gone. It depends how much damage that creeper made when it blew stuff up. So what I've got to do is I've got to go through to the nether and hopefully, he says, hopefully I'll be able to collect some of that stuff back up because what I'm going to have to do, no doubt some of it's gone because it was fully... Um, over the lava wasn't it so i reckon some of it has gone but maybe just maybe some of it will still be there and i'll be able to collect it so i'm going to go back and i'm going to see that's always entertaining have i come through frills i have come through frills portal so i'm going back now, is that because my portal was destroyed and I'm now at Frills base? Well, that wasn't something I expected to do. But let's have a bit of a nose round, shall we? So this is what Frills been up to. This is brilliant. Loving it. Um, that was utterly and completely not the plan. But what I do get to do is have a bit of a nose around what Frilly has done here. This is what happens when something explodes in your face and you don't expect it my portal has obviously been destroyed and as a result of that destruction i've now got to go through frillioff's portal and walk to the new portal uh, and create basically fix the old portal that will now become the new portal does that make sense brilliant i'm really glad about that i am now going to go and walk to my base 
depression has begun to set in. <laughs> I've never been so nervous and I've got my eye on that ghast there. And I'm hoping it's going to go away. Yes, it's going away because I can't fight it. This is my old portal and it would appear everything went in the drink by the look of it. The whole lot. So all of that enchantment that I did in the previous episode, that's all gone. That ghast is going to totally see me. Let's get out of the way of the ghast so as it doesn't blow anything up around the portal. Now I'm going to just line this portal up a little bit with cobble. Put cobble there. I need to put a fence around my nether, uh, nether portal on the other end because that's how that creeper got through in the first place. Right, so we've got vague semblance of protection. I'm now going to light this in the hope that it takes me back to my base. It could, quite possibly, take me back to Frill's base because Frill's portal is only just sort of over there. It's really close. I hadn't realised we were so close to each other. But let's see what happens. For you, that has brought us out on our gate. Okay, well, step one tick step one achieved at least now we've got a functional portal that actually functions for us step two now of course i don't need didn't need all the subsidian so that's good i've got that for something else step two now of course is that i need to go and make all of that stuff that i had in my inventory again including the enchanting which means i've got some serious serious work to do should we try again? We haven't even got to the objective of the episode yet. That is never a good sign. So we're going to go into the nether. Hopefully, what have I got? I've got, oh no, I need to take my, I, given the risk we had last time, I'm taking obsidian and I'm taking a flint and steel. I don't care what anybody says. Is it in the top there? Yes, it is. I'm having that. Okay, let's do that, shall we? Let's take that and get ourselves into the nether and hopefully we won't die a lot. Look, I've fenced off this thing. I'm not having that happen again. Let's get ourselves in, shall we? Right, okay, so I've come out of my personal portal. Don't go in the portal again. Right, I do have some arrows, so I'm going to fire at this dude now. And I missed him a lot. How can I miss him that bad? Oh my goodness. There we go. Got him. I'm missing him badly. Goodness me. There we go. So, oh look, his brother's come around the corner. Amazing. <gasps> Ghast here. That's right. Crouch to get across that. Don't need to. That's awesome. I've got a ghast here. So now what I wanted to do is the same thing that Frill did. I've got my um, Avos Nether Portal banner right here. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to get my new map. Now maps being completely useless in the nether. Look, they're all wobbly and wibbly. I'm right on the edge as well. But if I click on that at the same time, I've now got Avos Nether Portal showing on my map. So I know exactly where I am. If I then put the cartography table down right there, I can go in and I can make that map ever so slightly bigger. And now what I want to do is I want to head east or west, which is basically right across the lava lakes that's amazing i want to find a fortress now i know frill found one but i need to find one maybe the same one maybe not the same one let's see what we can do so if i just head in this general direction this could take a while people i've come back into my tunnel to hide but you can see basically what i did i built a long 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 bridge just out of cobble out to go back um to the overworld get cut another few picks because this nether uh, rack really chews through it but can you see i've literally tunneled through the other side of my portal in a straight line right the way through because i thought well you can't get much straighter than straight and i kept going straight and i thought well that's quite useful that looks very fortressy you can there's loads of weather skeletons oh my goodness i am a dead man Let's go. I'm going to come under this too high thing because the wither skeleton can't get in. Whoop. 
here we go that's always the danger the blaze can see you from a mile away I've got some work to do here I'll tell you that for nothing and he should come to me oh now I've got a ghast having a pop as well Right, please drop a rod. Oh, I didn't drop a rod. Spawner would be fantastic. Let's just stick that there like that. I can then charge this guy. He can, oh, I've been withered, which is always annoying. I've got to be really careful of that pig man. Right, let's come this way. See if we can't get some of these guys. Come on, I need... No, not a single blaze rod. How can that be? Go on, give me a blaze rod. No! Okay, we've got a blaze rod. Now we just need one more. Then we can quit this joint and go home. Because that's all I want to do. I just want to quit now. This has been a horrible experience for me. Two blaze rods. Right, that is going to do me nicely. But I may as well keep going whilst I'm here, right? See if I can get some more. Except I'm really worried about that pig man. I've come back through the portal, but I've realised as I've come back through the portal that I've not got any nether wart. And, well, frankly, I can't do anything. I'm going to have to go. I don't think that fortress has got any nether wart because there wasn't a, a downstairs area for it. So I'm going to have to go back. <sighs> Here we go. Wish me luck. Now, I have been wandering around at this nether fortress, which was two nether fortresses along from the one that i found oh what have we got there i'll oh, take the golden horse armor that's quite handy and we'll take the saddle as well gold sword you can keep it you sometimes get chests lurking around in these fortresses fortresses if you search east to west they generally are in a line north to south i don't want to go down that way i think it is maybe it's this way maybe i've not been down. yes okay here we go what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna get these bits so if I put back one, two, three, four, five, six there, and then that's half of it put back because none of it was fully grown, you see. So it only gave one when I kicked it up. Half of it's put back and we are now ready to find our way back to, and I'm just going to take this quartz, find our way back to um, our portal again which is a right old slog i tell you that for nothing but at least now we've actually got the stuff we need to do the episode it's only taken a little while to get the actual stuff and it for goodness sake so we've made it back i literally have no clue how we made it back i'm just going to get some of these for blue dye um but we did manage to make it back through the skin of our teeth oh my goodness this has taken a lot longer than i really wanted it to but never mind we will be fine let's get ourselves back onto our platform why not take some of these as well while we're here get back onto our platform because then we can actually start the mechanism of this episode which is to make some potions first thing we want to do is craft this brewing stand brewing stands dead easy to craft i'm not even going to look at the recipe it is three bits of cobblestone specifically cobblestone and one blaze rod at the top and what you get is a brewing stand collect that brewing stand you are now ready to brew this is going to be our magic place this bit here because obviously that's magic so this also is big enough to become magic too i'm going to come up here i'm going to put a bucket of water not on the half slab because all i do is water log that slab on that i'm going to get the other bucket of water i've got and put it on that if you put it on the slab all you're going to do is water log the slab water's going to spew out underneath the platform because these are slabs not blocks and you'll find it will be a horrible horrible mess then I'm going to get two more slabs and I'm going to pop a slab there and a slab there. Now they are still waterlogged. 
they are still waterlogged and you know they're still waterlogged because if you get your bucket and you pick up your bucket of water there you get a full bucket of water back these are still water source blocks making an infinite water source block in the middle right there you then can get your brewing stand and place your brewing stand in an appropriate place such as that then we need to make some bottles now i've already made a few bottles but i'll show you how to make a bottle as well come into your crafting area you need three glass blocks make a v shape like that and you will get three bottles because what you need to do is you need to fill up your glass bottles you'll notice they stack as they are empty but as you fill them up they then do not stack they're not a stackable item you can then put your glass bottles into your brewing stand one two and three now you can brew a single item or you can brew two or you can brew three if you brew three it takes exactly the same amount of ingredient as if you brew one so always brew three it just makes sense to do so i've just realized i need to go and get some blaze powder so get a blaze rod pop it in there and you get two blaze powder with one blaze rod that's why i needed two blaze rods one for the stand and one for the powder you can pop this in here that then becomes the fuel a bit like cold as a fuel for a furnace blaze powder is fuel for a brewing stand and then we need to make something called an awkward potion it's the basis of most potions not all ones but most potions and to do that you need a piece of nether wart pop it in the top and you can see it goes blah 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 and we have a progression arrow coming down there and at the end of that progression arrow these water bottles which have no effects will automatically become awkward potions which also interestingly has no effect see now look awkward potion we have made a potion for the very first time so I've turned all of those water bottles into awkward potions because that's what I want for today but you'll see that the bottles stay in the the brewing stand if you leave the brewing stand they just stay there unlike other uh, containers where they do not and you can see whether there's water bottles in it by um, simply look if I pop that on there you can see it's got a water bottle just one in it there so it's fairly simple to be able to see what's going on now there's lots of different potions lots of different levels for the potions that you can make in Minecraft we're just going to play with a few today and we have ingredients and we have enhancers and I'll go on to what ingredients and enhancers are in just a moment some ingredients are literally as they come so the puffer fish which we got in our um, fish farm the other day that's an ingredient blaze powder is also an ingredient obviously we've seen that nether water is an ingredient already or you can craft ingredients so for example we're going to craft a golden carrot a golden carrot is there now a golden carrot is a really good food but also more importantly it is a great potion item so what i'm going to do i'm just going to come into the brewing stand i'm going to pop these awkward potions this won't work with water it'll only work with awkward potions i'm going to shove in a golden carrot you can see that starts to brew away again and in a moment we're going to have an actual useful potion there we go and that now becomes a potion of night vision now a potion of night vision will allow you to see in the dark i'm going to make a different potion now we're going to go for with the puffer fish we're going to go for a different type of potion let's see what this one gives us this has given us a potion of water breathing blaze powder one blaze powder goes in what's this going to give us this has given us potions of strength now you'll notice that the potions are slightly different colors although these ones are very very similar but they also have a duration so three minutes three minutes three minutes what you're able to do is extend that duration so what we'll do now is we'll get these night vision potions for example and we'll extend the duration of the night vision potion using redstone dust in it goes see that's finished it is now a night potion of a uh, potion of night vision for eight minutes so we can take those out now other things you can do is create splash potions. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn one of these night potions into a splash potion. I want to do don't want to do both of them because actually I want to keep these as standard potions, but this fella is going to change. So watch the shape of the bottle once that brewing stand is complete. You'll see the shape has changed ever so slightly. It now looks 
a little bit like a hand grenade. That's what it's meant to look. So this is now a throwing potion. So you can lob it straight up in the air at yourself if you want to. If you're playing with friends, you can throw it at friends. Or you can throw it at mobs, like a potion of harming, to give them extra damage. The other thing you can do is increase the potency of some of these potions. So let's just grab these potions of strength in here and pop in some glowstone dust and see what happens to this. So you can see a potion of strength becomes a potion of strength 2. Shorter duration, but a potion of strength 2, which means that with this potion, it gives you even more strength, and the strength gives you the ability to take out more hearts from a mob when you smack them. Remember to plant your nether wart on some soul sand. This is how the nether wart grows. It will only grow on soul sand, and if you don't plant it up, once you've used it up, you're going to have to go and find some more in another fortress, which is probably a lot harder given what we've done today. So our magical area now is complete. We've got the ability to make potions. We've got the ability to enchant. We are proper sorcerers now. This is a really important part of the survival game. If you don't get this bit right, you're going to find progressing to the later stages of the game by bashing ender dragons and things like that a lot, lot harder. Now, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you go and take a look at what Frill does with his potions. Hopefully, he had a lot less trouble in getting the necessary ingredients. If you've enjoyed this video, please do remember to hit that like button on both our videos. It'll be great to know you're enjoying them, and we will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in our sub clubs, and we look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.